All right, all right. Story number two. Story number two. Now, I saw this story. This was a big story yesterday, and I considered doing this story, but I decided to pause on it because I, I didn't really believe that it came from a credible source. But one pattern that's been happening with this battle between, I guess it's a pattern now officially. Yeah, maybe it's not a pattern, but here's at least the second time uh, that <laughs> that's happened with this battle is there were cease and desist allegations. It came up in the lyrics. It came up in the lyrics. It was in Family Matters. Uh, I believe Kendrick makes reference to it in Euphoria, maybe like that. But at the beginning of the battle, there was allegations that Drake sent a cease and desist to Kendrick for like that. <laughs> uh, I, that clearly had to be false. And if they, you know, it's clearly had to be false because like that's been killing it on the charts all year. But cease and desist have been part of the conversation around this back and forth. And yesterday, and it's not really just even whack, I don't think. I mean, there has been rumors over the past few weeks that once Kendrick's Super Bowl performance was announced, Drake or Drake's team sent a cease and desist to the NFL, presumably Rock Nation as well, and Jay-Z, to keep Kendrick from performing Not Like Us on such a grand stage, right? I mean, it's kind of ironic to think about that. And let's say you do, you know... Let's say you do send a cease and desist to get someone to not play one of the number one songs in the world. <laughs> like, it's been clearly one of the biggest songs in the world all summer. You know, it's been in sporting events. It has been used at, at uh, political campaign conventions, campaign rallies. It's taken on a life of its own for every culture in, in a multiple in multiple different capacities. I don't know what a cease and desist from getting that performance at the Super Bowl. <laughs> I don't know how viable that is on its own, but it's a rumor that's been around for a little while now. And yesterday, it gained probably the biggest light yet because during his Clubhouse show, WAC 100, claim that Drake and his team had sent a cease and desist to the NFL and Rock Nation. Now, WAC 100, he manages a, a number of artists. He's managed Game, he managed Blueface, he managed 6 9 you know, he has a range of industry relationships. He's definitely tapped in. So when he said that, it really reverberated. Yeah, people really started thinking, oh, wow, Drake really did <laughs> send this cease and desist, right? Um, here's the DX article leading up to what the previous days were like. Speaking on Clubhouse over the weekend, the controversial music manager, whose clients include The Game, 6 9 and Blueface, claimed that Drizzy had issued the legal notice in an attempt to prevent K-Dot from performing the hit diss song during the Super Bowl halftime show next year. He's trying to get the NFL to restrict Kendrick. That's what he said on his, on his Clubhouse before speculating that Jay-Z, who helps organize the halftime show, would not allow Kendrick to be censored by Drake or the NFL. Now, that is what went around yesterday. So there's a ton of headlines on this. I decided I was going to wait and see where this goes. Because again, there has been this pattern of these cease and desist stories that are around this, around this battle. And so far, I haven't seen any of them be verified. And I honestly, don't, I honestly doubt either one of them would send a cease and desist in a rap battle. I don't think they would do that. I, I can't see either side doing that. So, Academics talked about it on his stream, and WAC 100 called in to clarify. Let's take a listen. He, he was just said, nah, I definitely didn't do it. I didn't send no cease and desist. And he said, yo, if anyone believes there's a cease well, and desist. Hold on, hold on. Well, hold on. Here's the thing. He right? says, he, says he wants them to right? post it. He wants them to post it. <laughs> he wants them to post it, right? Because there have been other examples of a, a, a alleged evidence of a cease and desist like every with the like that cease and desist there was a screenshot of an email right and i've seen certain youtube channels report that there was a cease and desist to the nfl and to rock nation and they had mock-up screenshots you know what i mean so academic sounds like what he's saying is he talked to drake and said hey anybody got one post it let me see it right so here comes whack Drake always the crazy thing about social media, right? We run a morning show over there on, 
or twelve hours, from I know. five a.m. to eleven a.m. Pacific Standard Time, right? Yeah. All day, right? I got a back channel with thirty people. All people do is drop clips from all different sites, shit to talk about, right? Mm -hmm. This was weird. Whack didn't say shit. Whack read a fucking clip. Oh, Whack didn't say anything. Whack read a clip. Right. And so this is the challenge in the media space. And this isn't necessarily a shot at Whack or anything else like that. But it is up to who's reporting <laughs> to clarify what they're reporting. Because <laughs> in that original clip, it didn't sound like there was any doubt. It didn't sound like he was just reading something. It sounded like he had some separate knowledge and that these, these conversations were taking place behind the scenes. That's what it sounded like. But here he says he was just reading a clip. Into. Oh, I read a fucking clip. I wouldn't know if fucking Drake sent a cease and desist. Why? Because because I don't I don't represent uh I don't represent uh Kendrick in business or Drake in business. So I wouldn't know if the cease and desist was happen. Mm, you know okay. what I'm saying? I wouldn't know. All I did was read a fucking clip. And I'm like, what's up next? So I read the clip. Right? So I said, well, shit. Uh, the clip was saying, you know, Drake's in the season of his head because it was defamation or whatever, whatever, whatever. The clip is probably still in my back channel over there with all these people, right? So once I read the clip, it turns into Wag 100 said. Ah, uh, okay, like, okay. That makes sense now because... Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure all of us get a bunch of tips. We get a bunch of tips. I, I have all kinds of things sitting in my DMs or things that I'm tagged on. Or some people will go as far as to, you know, email me <laughs> certain things, right? And that's part of the media game. You have to be discerning. You have to decide what is important enough to present. Or if something is unconfirmed, unverified, you have to make sure that you're very careful about or very intentional about making sure that that is communicated as well. I, I've mentioned before, I leave a lot of stuff on the table. I left this story on the table. I was like, I don't know. I don't know. They're talking about cease and desist again. I'm going to leave that one alone. Um, so I didn't, I left that one alone completely. But since that story is out here, I decided to do this today because it's confirming something that has, that was believed to be true or spreading as if it was true. And now it has been confirmed that Wack was just reading a, reading a clip. He didn't have inside knowledge, so it's, he's walking this back, which to me is an important part of this story. Two things I know. If if if, if I got something, I got it. Yeah, know. exactly. I, I know I know if you had real credible knowledge, I don't care if it was Drake no, or the I president of the United States, you would have that content on there. Yeah, I just read the I just read a fucking clip. Like oh, he was just Yeah, I mean that's a great point too. I mean, Wack really is tapped in. You know, Wack doesn't, I, I don't think Wack would just throw that out there. And I'm not saying he did that maliciously. Uh, but what I'm saying is, you know, since he is a noted source in this space, people took that moment and they ran with it and they started saying all these different things. Obviously, Drake wanted to clear that up. Academics wanted to clear that up. And now Wack 100 has cleared that up. So the moral of this conversation, the takeaway to this conversation is, there is no, as it stands now, no one on Drake's team, Drake or Drake's team, has not sent a cease and desist to the NFL or Rock Nation per publicly available information. You know, now if this story goes anywhere else or somewhere at some point in time, there's some confirmation. I'll be sure to cover that. I do not expect that to actually happen. I don't. I don't think that from a brand standpoint, it would make a difference. <laughs> I think that uh, a cease and desist, I don't know how you would sue Rock Nation or the Super Bowl for playing the number one song, and <laughs> number one rap song in the world all summer. <laughs> I don't know how that would even go. I'm not in a position to properly contextualize. Uh, but this is just an update on the story that's been going around. WAC 100 says that he doesn't have any verified information. He was just reading a clip that said that Drake sent a cease and desist uh, to the NFL and Rock Nation over Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us. So 
Let me know what you guys think about this. My name is Justin Hunt. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow at the company man on everything. It's all happening. Justin Hunt is here, it's all happening. Justin Hunt is here, it's all happening. The mathematical breakdown of this mighty game of rap we in. It's bone thapping in. Systematical culture views us radical, it's all happening. Shaking hands and dabbing in. Life through the lens of hip hop from trip hop to yes, yes, dog, you don't stop, you don't, you don't stop. stop. Justin Hunt is here, it's all happening. It's all happening, yes, it's all happening. Justin Hunt is here, it's all happening. It's all happening, yes, it's all happening.